To make nettle thread, first we have to gather some nettles. Nettles grow in almost all parts of the world and it is one of Ireland's most common wild plants. Nettles can often be found growing near ruins and deserted places and are seen as a symbol of desolation and abandonment. Nettle is also highly respected for its edible, medicinal and practical uses. Nettle, or Nyantog as Gwelge, was a common food source in Ireland, especially during famine times. In Ulster, another name for nettle is Coil Faha, meaning field cabbage. Once boiled in water, its young green tops can be added to soups and cooked like spinach. A fresh juice or tea made from the young leaves is a cleansing spring tonic, while its sting is said to be good for muscle pain and circulatory problems. Three meals of nettle in May, they say, will guard against illness for the rest of the year. By midsummer, nettle plants will have begun to flower and even go to seed, and the leaves should no longer be eaten. However, these mature plants have strong fibres that have been used to make cloth and paper since ancient times. Let's find some nettle plants to turn into our very own homemade thread. We're looking for mature plants. These will be straight and tall, about a metre or more in height, and will have flowers or seeds growing on them. Using a pair of gloves and a scissors or secateurs, cut the nettle near the bottom of the plant. Two or three stalks should give you enough fibre for a decent length of thread. Once you've gathered your nettle stalks, they need to be processed. To process our nettle stalks, first we need to remove the stinging hairs and leaves, flowers and seeds. Still wearing your gloves, while holding the top of the plant with one hand, run your other hand along the stalk going against the leaves. They should come away from the stalk easily. You might need to do this a few times and run your hands in the opposite direction to remove all of the leaves and small hairs. Now we can take our gloves off. Next we need to split the stalk open to reveal the bright green woody pith or bark on the inside of the plant. There are two ways to do this. You can use a rock or a rolling pin to gently bash the nettle against a hard surface to soften the stalk. If you don't have any of these to hand or are gathering where there is only soft ground, you can use your nails and fingers to prise the nettle open. You want to open the entire length of the nettle stalk. Once open, we need to separate the fibres from the pith. Snap the pith and then peel away the fibre. Take care and go slowly. We want one long piece of fibre. Next, we need to separate the fibre into strands. Nettles have a square stalk, so the fibres will naturally want to separate into at least four pieces, if not more. Separate the strands by pulling them apart gently. Once the strands have been separated, they need to be left to dry completely before twisting into thread. Leave them to dry flat or hang them in a sunny spot inside by a window or outside in the sun, but be careful that they don't blow away. Once dried, the fibres are ready to be turned into thread. The dried fibres will feel a little like pieces of straw. To make them easier to work with, moisten them slightly by spraying them with water or placing them in a damp cloth for one minute. Once moistened and softened, take two or three strands of fibre to begin making your thread. Fold your bundle of fibres in half. Using one hand, gently hold the folded strands of fibre. With the other hand, twist the upper strands away from yourself in a clockwise motion. Then swap the twisted strands with the bundle of strands underneath. Now your bottom strand is the top strand. Twist this strand away and swap again. Keep twisting and swapping and soon you'll see your strands turning into thread. Once some of your strands start to run out, you can add in other pieces of fibre one at a time. Lay the new piece of fibre across both original strands and continue twisting and swapping to work it into the thread. Once you've worked all of your strands into the thread, keep twisting and swapping until you reach the end. There are many uses for nettle thread. You could make a bracelet, tie a bouquet of wildflowers, hang herbs for drying, or even bind a book. Happy threading and let us know what you create with your nettle thread.